hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial on fuel injection nozzle this is part 3 and final part of this video tutorial series of fuel injection nozzle okay uh, in this part we of this video we are going to assemble the whole okay no, all of these parts okay uh, in my drawing book there is no detail given on how to assemble these parts so uh, we are going to check how these part fit and i have a general idea which i am going to use here okay so uh, let's start with this we know one thing for sure all all these concentric parts are around one common axis okay this is one thing i am sure about okay so uh first thing first uh, i know that this nozzle is going to be inside this nozzle body so let's mate these two parts okay and let's make this part till here okay and uh, if i'm right uh, this part is going to be fitted right here on the body okay but there is some interference uh, maybe let me check if I the diameter there is 5 and this is 6 okay let me check if I misread the drawing no okay maybe this is an error let's fix it okay so uh, this part comes here and uh, this is fixed uh, one more thing that uh, uh, this should come exactly here okay exactly below this so uh, for that let's uh, make the front plane with the front plane of assembly uh, I'm mating the front plane of the nozzle body with the front plane of the assembly okay mate click ok okay so two of our parts are three of our parts are assembled okay now I know one more thing that this spindle comes right above of this okay so I will hide this uh, body for now and let's mate these parts let's see if in our section view we can see okay uh, this is perfect okay now uh, this cap okay this cap is one of this cap is on this spindle okay so let's mate these okay and the spring rest on this part okay but uh, uh, mating a spring is very difficult okay uh, first i would like to create a axis okay Sp axis for the spring so let's open this part select front and right plane go to features reference geometry axis this will help us in mating this part let's show our axis here 
select mate this axis and uh, this face here now in this spring part select the top plane and uh, on this face click ok and there is some interference we have to fix it let's fix it and the diameter is 7.5 so the internal diameter should be 7.5 let's remove the uh, this 4 mm here create a center line smart dimension from this center hold down the shift key and select this circle 7.5 uh, let's delete this coincident relation I hope this will fix this okay uh, this looks better now okay so the second cup is directly above this okay so let's uh, revolve okay we don't need to revolve this just mate this part with uh, this axis okay uh, select this face and the lower face here click ok so we have made it the uh, the caps and spring now uh, the pressure adjusting screw we have to make this also ok so uh, this face will be completely inside this face and concentric let's check the cross-section view okay perfect Uh, this nut has to be mated okay this nut has to be mated on this screw so let's mate this nut also okay this looks a lot thicker than this one here this is just 4 mm and uh, let's see this is uh, delta y is 6.1 2.1 mm more let's edit this part keep in mind that editing these parts will make changes in the toolbox okay and i don't want that okay so i will just leave it like this because this is how it comes in from market so let's keep it like that if there will be some assembly problem we will uh, edit this part okay or we will create a new hex nut keeping this 4 mm in mind okay so uh, let's uh, make this our body show okay so now uh, we have to make this uh, cap on this part okay so uh, first let's create a, a concentric mate okay and uh, then select but uh, if I'm right there should be a washer between these parts so let's move our washer here okay 
let's check the cross section view okay everything looks fine so far okay uh, now we have to uh, made these two parts okay so if I'm right this part it will be inside it okay this part and this will be on the lower side okay so mate uh, select this part and create a concentric relation here hmm but the uh, wait a second let me first check this is a tapping here yeah so uh, this part will be actually tapped on this part okay so it will be like this so let's create a mate here like this okay this this is actually tapping uh, the interference you are seeing here is actually the tapping of the the threads mesh together okay I'm not making visible thread so it will look like this now select mate and we are going to uh, mate this part select concentric with this face okay so it will be somewhere here it will be adjusted okay uh, with this nut but for now let's mate these faces okay let me check something uh, this should be m6 okay m6 uh, one more thing uh, whenever I click it and I see the diameter is 5 but I said m6 because uh, in m6 the drill is for m6 uh, tap the drill is 5 or 5.2 mm okay uh, sometimes we make a 5.2 mm drill sometimes 5 okay it varies even if you try to make a 5 mm hole with a, a drill machine it will be like 5.2 or even worst case it will be like 5.5 okay and if you are uh, the bed is unstable it can even make even a 5 mm drill can make even a 6 mm hole so these kind of things you will learn in a workshop tool room uh, because that's where I learned a lot of things about these drawings okay so uh, all of our parts are assembled okay uh, one more uh, this nut you can see that this pressure adjusting screw is actually you can see that uh, this is actually interfering here and it should not interfere uh, maybe this is because the spring is the height of spring is wrong okay so let's increase the spring height okay from 17 to let's make it 20 when I rebuild everything will be adjusted and okay there is still interference how much 4.5 mm okay this is too much mm. and this will go upside okay okay uh, maybe I should decrease the spring height because it will be compressed So let's make it 20 minus 4.5. Let's make it 14. Okay. Let's make this uh, nut here. Click OK. Let's rebuild this. 
and uh, this concludes our uh, assembly of fuel injection nozzle in SOLIDWORKS okay we have successfully uh, made it assembled all the parts of this assembly okay uh, if you are uh, let me tell you something important about this assembly if you are in flow simulation or CFD you can make a flow simulation for this okay there is a nozzle there is a flow here okay there is a oil groove here and exactly whatever you need you can create a lid here here and you can study this whole part you can use this assembly for a CFD simulation okay uh, in um, uh, so this completes our uh, concludes our video tutorial on modeling and assembly of fuel injection nozzle in SOLIDWORKS in next few videos we are going to assemble more such parts and we are going to create more awesome content okay if you like this video please uh, give me a like on uh, YouTube and uh, subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends and colleagues okay and please take a look at my channel I have uploaded a lot of such content and uh, you will uh, love a lot of my work okay uh, so thank you for watching this video tutorial and have a nice day